what's going on everybody? Welcome to the stream! Yo! It's me! We're here! I was supposed to stream last night, but I ran into technical issues, and then literally just OBS just went... Oh my god, that's so loud. Why is that so loud? That was really loud. Why was that so loud? As you can see, I'm still working on some tech issues. Welcome to my stream! How's it going, everyone? Who? Oh, that was Wally. Hey, what's up? Hey, Wally. What's up? Milky Way. Hippo. Hey, so that's what I was hip. I heard you have an outfit. Yes, I do have an I'm so excited. Ah. Should I just do it now? I think you just do it now. I've waited all these years for this mic to peak. Let's lower it a little bit. So excited you show us your- I- WHAT?! No! You didn't see anything. Guys! After all these days- It didn't take that long, actually. My announcement is as follows. I- I just got a new graphics card. <laughs> I'm so excited to plug this in. And considering my computer was exploding before I even plugged this in, I'm really worried what's gonna happen when I plug this in because everything just started crashing yesterday. It was really, it was really bad. But I knew that already. I know, I know. Um, there's more. Uh, but I just wanted, I just wanted, I just wanted to show this first because I, I'm so excited. This cost a thousand dollars, by the way. It was a thousand dollars. This. Box is a thousand dollars, so I should probably be a little bit more careful with it, huh? <laughs> so I was gonna plug this in yesterday, and then everything started exploding. Cause I actually got this yesterday. Everything started going down, and then I ended up having to go out to like buy some stuff. So it didn't. It just didn't. It just didn't work out. So um, yeah. So that's part one of my announcement. So, what this means is I can now do VR finally! I'm so excited to do VR. It's actually crazy. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah! Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my toe! Oh! Oh, just... Are you fucking kidding me? I'm shaking right now. How breakable are these? I could return this, right? Um... Let's see the damage. Are you kidding? I don't even want to. <laughs> now I always talk about. I'm sure it's fine to survive shipping. I'm sure it's. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Ow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I already I already installed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was I was thinking about doing that. <laughs> I was laughing. Was I able to hide my smile enough? I'm so bad. I'm so bad at being serious. If someone tries to call up my lie, I smile immediately. I am the worst with that. I'll put Moji's cat toy in here. I was I, was, I forgot about that. I was gonna do a like oh Moji's cat toy's been here the entire time. I shouldn't play with it. I will summon the Moji and then he'll be sad when I don't play with him. Yeah, I don't know if that, um, <clears throat> anyways, I got this graphics card yesterday, I, like, I got home half an hour late, so I had an hour and a half, I was supposed to play Rust with Duck yesterday, so I plugged it in, thinking, oh, great, um, and then, I have this, this cord, it's called a DVI I or some shit, or D or something, and these are old, I guess, this, this monitor I'm using right now that uses this cord isn't that old, but, this new 
uh, this new GPU doesn't have that. Um, yeah, see, like, like this has two of them. And then two, you know, actually, one HDMI and one DisplayPort. I didn't even know what the hell this was, by the way. So, my new, my new GPU has one HDMI and four DisplayPorts. I haven't even heard of these things before, like, at all. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. Hey, Wally, do you want to buy a graphics card? <laughs> <sighs> Display port is the future, is it? Because I had, like, I hadn't even heard of it. So, like, I, I looked online about, like, I, like, I was trying to figure out a way to, like, solve this. Like, I just, I literally, I spent, it was, like, seven, $979 or something like this for this new GPU. So, I'm like, do I have to now also get a... Uh, do I also now have to get a new monitor too? Like, I have another monitor, but I, I like I'm in, I'm so used to doing two monitors now. I can't go back to one. And so when this happens, <laughs> keep in mind I was supposed to play a duck yesterday. Um, I was like, okay, I have an hour. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go to the store. I looked it up on Best Buy. I have a Best Buy close to my house. I looked it up. I was like, oh cool. It's actually um they have it in stock. They have six in stock. <gasps> I run over the Best Buy. It does much more data than HDMI. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's good to know. Wow. Sucks for me. So I went all the way to Best Buy. They didn't have them. They did, however, have a... Uh, they had a DVI, which is this, to HDMI, and then to DisplayPort. Which would have came out to around $60 to buy a stupid cable. And they also said, yeah, also your monitor's gonna have horrible refresh rates if you do that. I'm like, ah, uh, I'll see what else there is. So I went to three other stores, and then at like 6.30 when I was supposed to start streaming, I messaged up, I'm like... Hey, Duck, I'm sorry. I messed up. Of course! Like, going back to how bad my luck is, man. <laughs> it's like, cool. It won't take long to install, like, put plug in a new GPU and then install the driver. It won't take long. Oh, hey, Spicy, what's up? You can buy converters if you don't care about the best quality. Well, that's what I did. Well, that's what I thought, Hippo. <laughs> so, I went to, I went to, uh, Best Buy. I went to, um, Staples. I went to, uh, another, like, computer place. There's another computer place, the fourth one that like wasn't even open, and then I tried to go to the mall. There's a computer place there too. They were closed because apparently they closed at seven right now because of Rona, and none of them had it. I'm like, Ugh, but like this online stuff, they had it. Ugh, how do you break it? Did anyone clip that, by the way? Miss Chris Friggins' new GPU. Ow, that, I, I did, but I partially stubbed my toe with that. That actually hurt. That was tough. Who dropped it? L M A O M. <laughs> uh, did anyone clip that? I really want to see it. I don't. I doubt anyone did. Uh, but if you did, let me know because I really want to see that. And um, yeah. So why I got this new GP one? This this old GPU here was starting to fail a little bit, or not fail, but like it was starting to show its age. Like I played Cyberpunk when it came out, and like it crashed <laughs> multiple times, over and over again. So like, all right. And then stuff like editing videos again is starting to get rough, which is annoying because this when I first got this, it was working great. I'll go. I'll go back. Like, okay, well, I can go get it myself. Microwave water and then pour it in your Coke. What? Why? No. Huh? If you donate me $20, I'll consider it. <laughs> so, I mostly got it for this, though. This now works. I plugged it in yesterday. It actually works amazing. That being said, after I had already installed everything and, like, updated drivers and got home from trying to shop and then, um... Oh, by the way, today I went and bought, uh, the proper extension cord or the thing that was across town, pretty much. Uh, the same place where I got my GPU, actually. Um, I just happened to, like, drive by when I was done working. I was like, oh! Because I ordered it off of Amazon. It was supposed to come in sometime between today and Friday. But I was driving by the place and I was like, okay, I went in there, grabbed it, and then I tried to cancel the order on Amazon, then it didn't work, and then I have to, like, actually return it, even though I haven't even gotten it yet. It literally shipped when I got home. Like, within five minutes before I went to try and cancel the order, I got the email saying it had just shipped. So, I don't know how that works. I don't know if they could, like, you know, mid-getting it mailed to me. Um, they'd be like, oh, he wants to return this. We're just not gonna give it to him to begin with. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I've never returned something ever. And if I do get it, I'll probably just cancel return or whatever. I'll keep this. Doing your mom. Doing, doing your mom. Doing your mom. Doing, doing your mom. You know we straight we doing your mom. Now that's a good one. Fatty spins doing your mom? I thought this was a Ray William Johnson thing. Huh? 
That's definitely Ray William Johnson. What did you order? I ordered um I ordered the DVI to uh a display port cord. But I went and bought one in the store today instead of off of Amazon. Doing your mom. So it's it's only like 15 bucks, but it's like, you know, I, try, I thought I could just, you know, let me just send it back. So, nice glasses. Thanks, AJ the gamer. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume you're not though. Even though I just assumed you would. So, I'm really hoping to do this. Uh, Hippo, I'm thinking the first horror game I'm going to do, I point you out specifically since, you know, I tried to do Layers of Fear before. I think I'm going to try redo Layers of Fear, but with VR. Because what, what I just found out is I have to buy the game again. I thought, like, I could just... I, I thought I could just play the game, but, like, when I... Whenever I on, stub my toe, it oozes. It's really gross. Oozes? Did you know microwaved plastic injected into your toe is a bad thing? going on with you okay <laughs> what <laughs> let's see if i got it working hey he's a yeah well yeah once i you know thousand over a thousand dollars later after you've taken account buying this cord twice haha ha, like text to speech go burr. <laughs> that's why so i'm really hoping to do this hopefully friday oh fuck i just realized i have an appointment on saturday morning to get my car fixed so i probably can't do a drinking horror game tune on Friday. So maybe Saturday then? Or maybe we'll do it Friday anyways. But my, I really want to do my first horror game live stream uh, drunk very soon. So hopefully that will be either... This will that'll either be Friday or Saturday. It'll probably be Layers of Fear. Or... I guess we just go over right now. I actually looked up a list. I still have it open. I do. I do. Let's get married. No, no, no. I play on Toast Friday. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Okay. I guess uh, Saturday it is. Thanks for reminding me. Meow. 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 I gotta get that mod, by the way. Um, I looked up a list of like the top VR games to get, and um, the kid sixty two TKF, 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 the kid sixty two T. What? Did it just crash? Did all audio just crash? Why did that just crash for? My entire all my audio went and now the, the TTS stopped. Repod! No. Okay, well I was just gonna turn the volume down and I hit F11 to get rid of it or to like do that, not get rid of it. I <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> now is that to OBS? Hmm. Probably. Yes, it would be. So I'll put it that down to about layer. Alright! I don't know any of these games. Well, kind of. Um, I don't recognize. Ah, leaked. Sc ten scariest VR games for on Quest, PSVR, and PTVR. Um, so there's affected the manner. Never heard of that. Doing your mom. Doing your it better not be Phasmo. Uh, I haven't said that up yet, and he didn't even bother asking me. Wait, what? Who? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. We're doing a Minecraft thing on uh, Friday, Z Striker. A, a Minecraft mod. Doing your he kid 62. <laughs> Woohoo. That, that, okay, am I crazy, or is that not like, like that? To me, that looks like wood. I don't know why. It just looks like wood. I guess when I see... Oculus <laughs> Quest 2, in my opinion, is the best VR like for people that don't own a PC or just want a very good headset overall. Yeah, like, it seems to be pretty good. Well, kind of. It's it's definitely wood. I thought so, Hippo. Thank you. I said I said that, and everyone's like, no, it's not, Chris. You're crazy. Um, Yeah, I also got it for the portability for one, Um, in case, like, friends come over or something like that, and I can show them. It's like, oh, guys, look at that. Cool. Doing yay, mom. Doing, doing yay, mom. <laughs> Jesus. You guys are really into TTS tonight, huh? I'm not gonna watch all these, but let's just kind of like. Sixty-two wooing your Hanarik to do. This music is way too happy. Is this really loud? This seems loud. Ah! Dare you enter? All right. Oh uh, yeah, that looks like generic horror game. Alien Isolation. I've actually never played you this, but I hear it's really good. <laughs> no. I the the reason I actually was gonna do it much higher, um, but 
uh, the streamer who actually created this that's way bigger than I am, she has it she has it at 150. So like, well, she could do it 150, I'll do 150. You know, what? anything to encourage chat activity, I'll take it at this point. So, it's fine. Get ready for sex to the hour. <laughs> oh, finally I've been waiting for you. No two rage on a rage 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 two rage good I alien isolation I've heard of the, I hear this game's horrifying one thing that does actually kind of scare me in horror games is when things are chasing you well it's not so much as scares me as it's more like stresses me the fuck out but like that in return makes me more jumpy to when like if a jump scare happens uh. I didn't know this was in VR but apparently this is a mod so I'd be interested in checking this out. How the hell do you move in VR? Maybe it's just a joystick. <laughs> or just all right. So we're, I don't know how long this game is, but I'm very interested in checking this out. Dread halls. Dread the halls with dread halls. Fa la 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 ho ho ho. Lucid shit. <laughs> no, that's a <not> shit. <laughs> Oh, it's the Xbox logo in blue. A whale. Huh? All right, that was a scary game. That's a scary man. That's a scary man. All right, you're okay. Is this just a bunch of games in one? One of the old, one of the VR's oldest games is one of those scariest. Dread Halls has you navigating perfected. Why did they show this then? That's a dumb trailer for this. The Exorcist. I don't know what this is either. Jesus. What's your feeling for Natasha? Okay, I'm gonna go and see a Chris, see a ch Char. Bye. <laughs> is this is this Roblox? Yes. Half-Life Alex? I haven't played any Half-Life games yet, so I don't know if I want to get that or not. You know, I feel like I can't play that until I play the other ones. If I play the other ones. Swine. Very scary game, not even joking. Really? Do you think it would be a good idea to play it without playing the other Half-Life games though, Spicy? Or should I speed run the other Half-Life games first? <laughs> play Half-Life then? Really? Half-Life. I know Vinny, I, I, I didn't watch Vinny play um, Half-Life Alex, but I, like, I kind of caught a little bits and pieces and I did hear him say like after he finished it that it was very scary for him. Wow. A baby. Those are babies little mannequins. The B slot. I thought I was gonna say look behind you. This looks pretty good. All right, I'm done watching this. I don't want. I, I I'm actually interested in this one. This actually looks pretty good. This looks so stupid. I saw. I just scrolled through this list. Face your fears one and two. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Oh, very Five Nights at Freddy's. They're uber cheap on street. Yeah, but like, I should play. Uh oh. Shut up. Sixty two Jeep. The kid 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 sixty. All right, that's it. I'm scamming you. The kid sixty two. Jeep, the kid sixty two. Jeep, the kid sixty two. Jeep, the kid sixty two. No more. I had enough. Uh, five minutes of Freddy's VR. Yeah, yeah, that I'm interested in. I'll, I'll probably do that. 
Uh, I'm very interested in that. Um, I'll probably get that. Um, bam, 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 bam. Did I watch this yet? This already looks like Five Nights at Freddy's, though, to be honest. My money! <laughs> I hope I actually find this stuff more scary. We'll see. I am pretty amazed at how VR actually looks. You should at least play Half-Life 2 if you want to know. If you want to play. Okay, so in other words, no. So I probably will play half out. Like, just being realistically, like, I am interested in playing the Half-Life series. But by the time I get all the way to Alex after playing, how many games? Like, there's Half-Life. Like, I know there's episodes. Or there's, like, parts and then there's episodes, right? How many Half-Life games are there? I know it's like a part two or something like that, but isn't that like episode three, part two, or I don't know. Uh, it's 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 confusing. It's like the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I'm like, what the hell is going on with those title feeds? Um, if you play Half Life two before you play the first one, you won't be losing too much besides missing some references. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so it'd be only one game then. Is it only two games or three games include Alex? There's no Half-Life 3 Valve Cannon. Yeah, but I thought it was like Episode 2 or like uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Like I thought they did like episodes or something. But I don't. I have no idea. Oh, this is the Friday Night's Friday's here. <laughs> Who buried the robot in the graveyard? That's how our robots go. Dreadbear. Curse of Dreadbear. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cheesy. <laughs> That's marketed directly to 10 year olds. That like, <laughs> I like the idea of the Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, you know, you can tell the first game was kind of like marketed toward as a general horror game. Oh, you got a job at a pizza place. Now it's Dread Curse of Dread Bear. As an arm, as a robotic arm comes out of the dirt from a like, <laughs> it went from being it went from being advertised to like. People get their first job, you know, 16, 17, to just straight up. Just like, all right, all right, you kids, here, here, have this, go have fun. Episodes 1 and 2 are short games. Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1 are nine hour long. That's not too bad. What's the game? What is the game mini tonight? Like, what am I playing? I don't know yet. Uh, we have a few options. Um, How's Among Us looking? Oh, it's tent, it's full, and then there's a person in the queue. I was thinking of Among Us if there wasn't a queue, but there is. The problem with Among Us is they start a half hour before I start streaming. So maybe if I want to start doing that again, which I do, I want to start doing. Uh, I want to like if I'm streaming five days a week, I could throw in. I could do Among Us for an hour, or so all right, you know, get some um, communication in. You know, have some friends. Uh, so I might actually change my Wednesday start time to six o'clock instead, which might be very hard. I, it's very hard for me to start. No, not Among Us. Well, um, I'm actually surprised the Among Us meta is still going. When Rust took over Twitch for a little bit, I was like, all right, I guess Among Us is dead. But no, now that Rust has died again, and now Among Us is starting to get big again, which is weird. It, well, it never really died, but like you know, it started to show where I think Oregon Quarter. Doing your mom, doing, doing your mom. Sounds like I'm on Goose Slap. I'm glad you came. Ooh, I like this. The outside world can be incredibly overstimulating. This is a grand achievement. We, the experiment. I like this. Kind of a lame name. Kind of loud. Sorry, there's no way to like. Boop. What's really annoying about this player is you can't hover over it for things to pop. Oh, now it's closed. Now it's working. Ocul okay. Yep, I have the Oculus, all right. All right, there's a few more. Oh, Paranormal Activity, I heard this one's pretty good, right? 
Resident Evil 7. This was the one game I played when I tried the one time I tried VR. I went to a uh, a Twitch meetup for my city. Um, it was very uh, awkward. Um, I didn't like it very much. I, and but there was a VR headset there, and I tried it. And this was the game I actually played for a few minutes. And it, that was what blew, that's what actually sold. Oh geez, here. That's what actually sold me on getting VR. What was playing this game, and it looked very good, very nice, very nice. That was like two years ago already, though. The genital zone. Said if you get a chance to stream, do play half of you'd enjoy him. Really? I don't know, man. Like, I don't really care about I, I'm not good at shooters uh, and I don't really enjoy them most of the time, but maybe I think, like, maybe I'd enjoy the story. Bro, I just want to, like, there we go. I don't like I gotta, like, gotta shake my mouse for the thing. Hello? I can't get the bar to pop up. I like I have to click and then it pauses it and it ruins the experience. Now oh, it's gone again. I could just watch this on YouTube. I'll leak my username on YouTube. This looks pretty good too. Oh, this looks generic actually. What am I saying? This is just the the scene from it with with, with uh, Beth is that her name with her hair getting ripped down the drain, or hair coming out from the drain. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> this video. this is a seven and a half minute video. Good God. Honestly, I don't know if the world is ready for a game like. Is it refined yeah. mass support to zombies on this game? Ah! The most enemies I ever did battle with and one. Battle most so dang darn enemies I did done run game battle with. When's Chris reacts? In a few minutes. I just want to go through this list. This is the last game, and then I'll do it. Do you mind? Oh, PSVR only. Oh, I didn't think about that, but that makes sense. So I can never stream that, man. I can't do this one either. Oh, but wait, PC VR. What is that? Is that just any P or any VR that connects to PC? Emojis freaking out. PC VR. Huh. Well, if it's on Steam, then yeah. Quest. Oh wait, PC VR, and that says Quest. What the hell's PC VR? I don't know. Oculus Quest. Okay, so hopefully I'm a little worried about the library. <laughs> Steam Store. Okay, so PC VR. Oh, oh, I see. And then probably when it says Oculus, it probably means like I could get on the Oculus Store or something like that. All right, that should be fine. And Oculus and Oculus. That makes sense. Okay. So anything like okay, so that's good. Okay, so what can we actually play here? Uh, from this list, this is just like a top ten best horror games. Also, I have no idea how old this list even is, bro. Can't play this, whatever. Um, uh, can't play that. Totes, whatevs, bro. Can play Paranormal Activity. I am interested. I did. I think I remember hearing it was good. So I am interested in Zots. Uh, Organ Core. Okay, I'm glad I can get this one because this one actually looks really good to me. Um, it's like kind of old schooly graphics. And I find that a little more spooky. That was a bad example. Like PS2 graphic, yes, yeah, not really. Like this, like does not look old. I don't know. I kind of like the for horror games. I I discovered I really like kind of like the lower quality graphic style in them. It leads more to the imagination. Like uh, like I'm scared, for example. And also Quiet Valley was another game. Um, this looks a little scary. I'll definitely do Five Nights at Freddy's VR because why not? You know you have to. Uh, face your fears. What was this one again? Whoa! No, I don't know who that guy is. I thought that was, uh, the, is it a good idea to microwave this dude? But no. <laughs> that looks okay. I don't know if I'd like that, to be honest. Maybe I'll try it. So I have a bunch of stuff. I'll also be doing VR chat. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Like I said, tomorrow's my day off of streaming. I was considering streaming since I skipped yesterday, but I should probably use the time to uh, fix up my VR, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, yeah, okay, so there's quite a bit we can play. Okay, cool. Now, it's time for the moment at least one of you has been waiting for. It's time for Chris Real. Why am I getting email notifications? I literally like disabled that. What the fuck? I don't like that, dude. They're spam emails. Oh, good.
It's time for Chris Real. All right, I think we're right here. The real duck. Lamar roasts Franklin Butts Curse. Duck posted this, and I have over 2,000 views, so good for Duck. Let's see. That's so quiet. Hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got what? I don't understand how streamers do this, man. How do they deal with every video having different audio like sounds? So it's like blasting. I've literally matched it out. It's still really quiet. Maybe it's because I don't care about Grand Theft Auto, but I, these memes don't do it for me. <laughs> Good for Duck, though. Getting over 2K views. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, when did he post this? When did he post this? Oh, shit, he just put 3K views now. I'm not subscribed, whoops. OMG, I am a big fan. I love you. Ones. Like your own comment, of course. Gotta boost yourself in the algorithm. I was subscribed to talk. I feel horrible. Yeah, I was gonna say remember you when, when you're famous, but uh. All right, ring fart ass venture. Annika over here really enjoys po purposely posting the shittiest videos she could find because she thinks it's hilarious. And you know what? I'd I'd, I'd have it no other way. So let's let's, let's listen to this. Please make sure you have the ring con accessory, leg strap, the ring oh, strap, the left strap, and right strap. I don't have any of those. Ready. Let's put on the leg strap. Leg sure strap. Not to have legs. <laughs> make sure you have a clear view of your hat so you can see the hole. Hey. Push the left Joy-Con firmly into the pocket on the pocket on the pocket on the pocket on the pocket. On the poly pocket. Sit your leg seat okay, and back down in a chair. Make sure not to let it slip. Your ass? Please make oh. sure not to let it rip. I did not like that now, sound at all. While, while wrap the leg strap around your thigh. And wrap your leg around your eye. Around your eye? Make sure you have a Oh, and then it went across your eye, I see. Place the leg high on your left leg, above the center of your leg. <laughs> the leg strap is now a chair. If the leg strap comes loose, please sit. I like when um the only YouTube poops I like is when they're really smooth edits like this. Le Not that one. The leg strap is now a chair. That's really good. You can understand what the hell she's saying there. I don't like was Make this sure one. Not to let it slip. Where was it? <laughs> I hate that noise. I hate that noise a lot. Now while 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 wrap the leg strap around your thigh and wrap your leg around your thigh. That that shit like wrap the like I hate that. I hate that. I think that's why I never really got into YouTube poops because a lot of them sound like that. I really like the smooth edits. These ones though, I don't know. They're so hard to understand. Like I'm trying like what the hell did you just say? I'm I'm so busy trying to figure out what the hell you say. It's not funny because I'm too like I'm trying to concentrate on what the hell they're even saying. Here. If the leg strap comes loose, please sit down in a chair. Crap. Oh shit, I'm fat. If the leg chair comes loose, please tighten it again, but not too tight. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit sit down. That. Please make sure you do not tip the now. Nice cropping. Let's prepare the ring ring shit. Please Bad edit. Sure you have the ring set Same, I like VR chat. Uh, okay, well, I don't know when I'll be doing that. Like, my first priority is definitely to do a horror game stream. So, that'll be on Saturday. So, I don't, probably not Sunday. Pro probably sometime next week, I guess. Con ready. Next, please put the con the I'll announce it, like, maybe the day before in, um, in the announcement chat. If you guys are interested in knowing, like, ahead of time. Does that sound good? I won't, I, probably, I won't add everyone though, so just watch that chat, I guess. I, I don't I don't like to spam people too much of there. <laughs> Cause I know I hate being spammed in other Discord servers. Firmly grasp it! If the 
Who's that from? I recognize the sound effect. Ew. What the fuck? Put that in the garbage. If John Tron comes loose, please tighten it again. I don't like where this is going. How about a little more? Let's put the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip through the hole. I actually really want to get this game, but I live, uh, I have people living below me. I'll, I'll say that, not to give away too much here. Um, and if you've ever lived, if someone's ever lived above you, even them just walking around at like 12 o'clock of the day, that's like enough to like, shut up up there, you know? So like, I can't imagine, like, I would feel so bad for the people below me if I'm like doing shit like this for, for two, three hours, you know? Probably not that long, but like... My neighbors already don't want... I'm pretty sure that my neighbors... Based on what the police told me on New Year's Eve when they came to my uh, apartment, I'm pretty sure my neighbors fucking hate the shit out of me. My downstairs and upstairs one because I'm so... Well, I guess maybe not so much my upstairs, but definitely my downstairs one without me always doing, like, running around doing stupid shit. Also, Moji consistently in the past, like, couple weeks, maybe even months, he's been getting the zoomies at, like, 1, 2 a.m. So it's like... And he's a heavy cat. <laughs> he does not land soft. And, like, for whatever, like, just even example of how heavy Moji is, when he jumps up on this couch, I hear him jump up on the couch. I'll be streaming with headphones on. I'll be, what's that? And I'll turn around, and Moji will just jump on the couch. He makes more noise jumping onto the couch than jumping off the couch. I don't understand how that works, but Moji's massive. He's 18 pounds. He's a fat ass. He's not. He's actually a very healthy weight. Um, but, uh, but I, I can't, I, my neighbors hate me. That's the whole point. That's a good reference. Now <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. I was gonna edit all the what? Likes as Joy Cons, but that's too much work for this stupid joke. I would have been too bad. Stretching. Spread your legs slightly and stand up straight. Lightly jog. Let epic awesome face. Nice dick. Holy shit! Next, let's begin with diving. Uh, well, no, it's mochi. Hard on the ring con. I want to go hard on that. <laughs> yourself all right new start keep your posture straight. i just had a really good idea what if i got this and then i also bought like the the super saiyan goku hair and then the super saiyan like jumpsuits and then i streamed like essentially being trained to be a super saiyan <laughs> by training i think that's actually a really good idea that can be funny right posture how much three, is this game though probably two, like 100 bucks three, go uh -oh. Stinky. Hmm. Good. Now you're stinky. Let's see. Let's see how much this is. Focus on moving your insides upward. Uh, Last time. All right. Bye. Okay, I can actually buy it. Rare. 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 Down in a chair. Rare. 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 Down in a chair. Rare. Rare. What? Rare. Down in a chair. What the hell? Rare. Wait. Rare. Where did it go? Where did the video just go? What the fuck? It's just gone. But it was still making noise. I'm so confused. What just happened? Oh, I was oh, because I was on Discord. That okay, that that makes sense. Okay, uh, well, Anika, if you're watching, that was actually a pretty good submission. Um, yeah, some of the I I, I generally don't like YouTube poops, but that was actually well, that was actually pretty good. So I, I enjoyed that. How long is this? Okay, there. I know there's a one hour long theory video. Well, how long? How long is this one first? This is five minutes. Oh no, it's another YouTube poop. Oh god. Okay, let's watch this one first, and then we'll uh. <laughs> By the same guy, though. And the last one we just watched is pretty good, though, so. One thing at a time, Chris.
is the new 2001 Jizz V80. Why is he parked like this? Get out of here! Why? Hello? Why? Oh my god, that's how you park that car. Oh, nice! Nice car. I love pee! Before I get started, be sure to check out bars and kids. Which is, which is, which is, check out my mom. Today, I dug a hole. Okay, I hit the seat beside me to like, you know, come here. And he turned around and ran away. He normally like, normally I do that he actually comes to me. <laughs> then I'm going to drive this SUV. Hold on, okay. Today, I dug a hole. Nice! Then I'm going to drive this SUV into the hole. Cool! Then I'm going to get it out of the hole and see if it drives. You can Bad. upgrade to an or also you can upgrade to a downgrade like in this, which has three horsepower. That's a big number. Wow! The starting price of just over six dollars. Wow! Also is the fact that Doug Demiro is here at Doug all. Doug Demiro. Like Are you kidding me? He died. Wow! Why would anybody ever stand outside? All right, check this out. On the remote, there's no a little knows. button with a little circle marked hole. Then there's a little button with a little car on it and a little arrow and a little penis. That button looks Aww. nice. Nice. It moves. I hate that noise so much. That noise. I hate that guy's face and I hate the noise he makes. I don't know why. Just something about it makes me angry. Oh, as you what, Boaty? Come here. He's been freaking out for the past five minutes. Don't you come here? He's doing his thing where he like he he, he like he stands far away. He meows back at me when I call him, and then he rubs his head on stuff. So he's being affectionate, but he's too scared to come to me. Come here. You're so funny. What a funny little goober. You can yeah. see I'm not in it. I mean, wow. Not not in the driver's seat. And Ah! And it can do it in the other direction as well. Press the other. <laughs> now, getting access to the third row is actually pretty easy. You have this little button on the side of the second row. When you open the door, you push that, and in one motion, the seat. Very nice to see. Just one Ooh. press, and the third row is exploded. You also <laughs> get a couple cup holders back here, individual. One for the passenger side, and another one over for the crew side. And you have a button for third row seat genocide, which is often a complaint. <laughs> and you get this little storage cubby. You press this button, and you have a little third row storage yeah, 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 Although, yeah, yeah. Well, you only want to get the third row if you're really, really, really gauge. It's just not oh, all that big yeah. back here. The Luca, hey! 2001 GB8, very nice console. That was what I had! For kids, and it's too bad, frankly. How, 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 And here's another nice kid related feature something called the row. Your kids out the back of the car when you're driving. If you activate this, then. Alright, I'm. I, I. I. What the fuck? I don't know what he just said. Kids out the back of the car when you're driving. It's you so distracting. Like, I can't pay attention to what he's saying because all the cuts going everywhere. <laughs> Is this YouTube poop? Yes, it's a Chris Reacts. If you want me to react to your YouTube poops, go ahead and throw them in the Chris Reacts channel. Activate this, then your kids will be ejected out on the road. Then you don't have to turn around and yell at your kids. You oh, get them out of here. Die. And again, I think that's going to be a huge selling point for people who never like kid transport duties. But let's say you want to wipe my butt or pinch Aww. my butt. You are lucky. Be sure to check out my only. Be feet. sure to First like I'm and subscribe. My feet, and then I'll show you my butt. And then I'll pee on the seatbelt. And then I'll. Those are very clean edits. That's the kind of stuff I'll see. I'll give a rim job, and I will demonstrate. That one not so much. All the seats off my butthole. All right, all right, all right, check this out. I can crap in the third row. Oh, well. Sounds of nature. The JD offers third row seats, and it is really, really shitty back here. But whatever. To me, it's a huge Ew. selling point for this car. This is a new low. Hey, I'm just reacting to what other people want me to react to. Okay, Luca. Are you really making fun of spicy sense of humor like that? Come on, bruh. Bruh. One of the biggest things you notice up here is everything in here looks wrong. And in order to Wrong! get the car here, you twist your penis to the right to go into drive. It's a bit unorthodox, but... Wait, my stream just crashed. Am I live still? Oh, shit. Poopy. Ah, uh-oh, stinky. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh oh, stingy! Oh, what? Uh oh.
kill myself. <laughs> I think. Oh shit! Oh poopy! Oh frick! My speakers. Oh, it crashed again! Are you back yet? Hello? Hey, I'm back! Am I back? Why can't I hear myself? I'm so far behind. You're back. I'm front. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Are we good now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we good now? Hey, we're back! Are we good now? Hey, we're back! 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, while watching this video, I decided now is the perfect time to try and pull this plug that's all wrapped around my monitor is going all ziggy ziggy and I guess I pull out the... Or it, like, it jiggled the Ethernet cable, which is enough to, to really make me sad. All right, let's keep going. It feels good when you move it. You are very quiet, even now? Wait, never mind. Okay. Are you kidding me? Only I just want I just want to show you what just happened. Look at this. I just put my finger down this one right here, which is on this cable, which went on the right arrow key. Which fast forward the video to end. <laughs> where were I? Where were did I? It's the general right, nature. Face. Check out my only fans. Just have them die. And again, I think that's. I'm really gonna pay that close. Like not not quiet. A huge selling point for people who never like kid transport. Do I hate kids? Oops. But let's it. say you want to wipe my butt or pinch my butt. You are lucky. Be sure to check out my only fans. First, I'm gonna show you my feet, and then I'll wait. I just got a notification on my phone. A bunch of people just went live, and two notifications just see my phone, and it says stream crash. I wonder if I wonder if a bunch of Twitch. I wonder if this is Twitch. Maybe it wasn't my fault. Maybe this is Twitch. Show you my butt and then oh! I'll see on Watch this part. my butt. Whoa, what? Third row. It's a biggest Third thing row. you notice up here is everything in here looks wrong. Why are you watching? Uh, uh, YouTube. Because it's in the Chris Reacts. Come post whatever video you want on Chris Reacts and I'll react to it no matter how bad it is. Unless it's like 30 minutes and it's very boring. Don't send me an hour long video of watching paint dry cubes. And in order to get the car in gear, you twist your penis to the right to go into instead. drive. It's a bit unorthodox, I'm but it up here. feels good when you move it. What if so I do this? So now it's time to get it out on the road. All right, driving the I'm gym. wide! Uh, it's uh. not really good. And so that's the genitalia. First, I'm going to give it a drug store. How many drug? Fun fact, drug is excellent. Under the hood offers toot, and you also get crystal med up here, and it gets an 8 out of 10. Nice! Penis is excellent, and you can get good head in the back seat, and it gets a 10 out of 10. Cool factor is decent, and it gets a P out of 10. Comfort is excellent. You can sit in com comfortably, or <laughs> you can sit in snot, or you can sit out on the road and see if you die, and it gets a wrong out of 10. Practicality is not quite great given the car doesn't have a VGA port, so it gets docked a bit and it gets a point three. That's relevant to me. VGA Add port. it up and the drug score is 188 out of 100. Whoa. Now it's time for a butt score. But, 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 surprisingly potent. But, 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 you live in a tight butt. But anyway, but, 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 probably the little butt, but, kids. But, 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 see, there's a butt, but, there's a problem with getting into the tight butt, but, back butt. And this is a big butt. Even the little butt looks nice. But, but, not physical butt, but, but, it pulls up a camera showing your butt. It's very odd shape, but, but, add it up in the butt. This guy says butt a lot, huh? Out of 100. Oh my god. Fatty. That's a lot of butts. Why P P is so stupid. C S one eighty eight. I'm going to report this. Oh, this is a real reaction. I'm disappointed he lied. SpongeBob, if you see if you see this video, let's watch. I'm so excited. The show SpongeBob Square. Oh my God! See what I'm saying? How the hell is this supposed to that was gonna be so loud? Jesus Marie, it's the minerals. Pants is not what you think it is. Puppet master.
monsters who are always watching the citizens of Bikini Bottom and pulling the strings. Hidden within Bikini Bottom, that good volume Bottom there? Not too loud still. Keep an eye on the characters and make sure everything goes to plan. This is a conspiracy that will fundamentally change the way you will discuss the world square pants. And I believe it's all actually intended by the creators. <laughs> this is the television theory. <laughs> You guys had a great reaction to my Squilliam fantasy theory, and I oh, it's the same guy. Squilliam, you lying, deceiving bastard! Praise a shit! That. But trust me when I say that what I've discovered this time is much, much bigger. To start this theory, we have to go back to the very beginning of the very first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. I have to know. Is this entire channel SpongeBob conspiracies? Yes. The sheet horror short. I'm kind of interested in seeing what, what the fuck is this? Ah! I just want to see. I hate that a lot. And you now you have to stare at it like I did. So stupid. <laughs> you have to remember. Oh, realistic. It is like annoying orange on just a bunch of drug. Story. <laughs> oh. They're just hugging. Be so good. They're hugging. I can't get banned for this. They're hugging. They love each other. Oh, that was scary, and I didn't like it. Let's keep going. Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom. <sighs> teeming with life. Home of one of my favorite creatures. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, of course he lives in a pineapple, you silly. You silly. This, this episode one, right? Who's speaking in this clip? The narrator. Well, obviously that's just the narrator. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Voice many times throughout the show. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon, a stinky mud puddle for you and me. Ah, uh, the crusty crab. Through these doors Aww. pass all the many Aww. kinds of undersea life. Pops belting school, where diligent students learn. Is this point about to be that? How could this narrator possibly know about these locations? It's thrown under the sea! But who exactly is the narrator? Well, he's just the narrator, right? Yeah. We're not supposed to think about who he is or why we're hearing him. Lots of shows have narrator framing devices we're not supposed to think about. Caillou was amazed that mommy had made a rainbow. Just like in the picture. That's Grandma's voice! But there's something different about this narrator. He sounds a lot like he's narrating a nature documentary. The ocean. From above, a simple blanket of water. But below, a complex world full of color, light, and wonder. Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here, we see Bikini Bottom, teeming with life. What if I told you that he's not just some random disembodied voice? He's an actual character in this universe. Wait, what? Here again at the Bikini Bottom Boating School. Today is once again the day of Spongebob's boating school exam, but more importantly, this is the last test for the year, and if Spongebob does not pass this one, it Wait, what do you mean the year? Johnny school's year round! <laughs> Spongebob what? crashes into the fourth wall, and we actually get to see the narrator and the camera he's been filming with. The show Spongebob Squarepants is not just a cartoon. Everything we see is a part of a nature documentary television show being filmed by scuba divers. And if you're still not convinced, I searched really, really hard and found an old Spongebob DVD bonus feature that basically confirms everything. Since before time even existed, landlubbers oh, yeah, have seen this before. tried to learn the secrets of intelligence. Their studies led them to the sea, where the citizens of the sea. colony demonstrated a genius so enormous, the scientists felt compelled to record their actions for use in teaching mankind how to live better. The name of this miraculous place, Bikini Bottom.
Pouring over the rainy masterminds scattered about this strange land. Clear as a marine biologist? Yeah, I mean, that's the real answer. The real answer is just, you know, I mean, that's kind of a joke, right? If, if the narrator is framed as if this is like an actual real, like this is actually happening and it's not a cartoon. Bikini bottom residents at random. To but that's the boring answer. The scientists marveled at the advanced knowledge and superior. I've never seen this before. Six creatures. I went to college. They rolled their cameras and took notes. And now, finally, we can learn all of the things that these smarty pantses have to teach us. Life lessons from Bikini Bottom. I don't know how it can get any more clear than that. Now, if you rewatch the show with this new information in mind, some things start to take on a whole new meaning. Throughout the series, there's this weird, unexplained running gag of a human hand interfering with the characters. It's even in the beginning of every episode in the intro for the show. Whose arm is that? The are doing a bit more than just studying these characters. Mm. The hand seems to mostly interfere just to maintain the health and safety of the characters, like treating SpongeBob for the suds. Well, Mr. SquarePants, it seems you have the suds. Are you ready for your treatment? Oh, Hans! Oh, Hans! La 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 la! What a good song! It makes sense. That's Hillenberg? Is that how you say his name? That's Hillenberg himself, isn't it? I would recognize those dorky ass glasses anywhere! So the filmmakers wouldn't want to risk the safety of their main character. After all, there's no show without SpongeBob. But that's not the only reason why they interfere. Season 3, episode 16, I Had an Accident, is infamous for having one of the most absurd, confusing endings in the entire show. It ends with a oh, oh, it is a sign, okay. coming out of a Patrick costume and attacking the characters. A real gorilla! Huh? Tom Kenny? Oh. And then as soon as Spongebob begins to question the logic of the scene, this happens. Right, I think I'm real dumb. I think I just got me. That's actually pretty funny that they use SpongeBob on Tom Kenny, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't didn't Steven Steven, right? Steven Hillenberg. Wow, that's the first thing that comes up when I type in S T E. I guess I just type Yeah, never mind, he doesn't look anything. This is the picture I immediately thought of. Wow, he, wow, he kinda looks like ML a little bit, doesn't he? I just I sent someone else look like ML the other day. Michael Yonke. That's so sad he died. That's sad, man. I'm a sad man. His death? Wait, what? He's died? No. Is this official? That's really sad. I can't believe he passed away. What a childhood hero. What's a gorilla doing underwater in the first place? Oh, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the scene is doing, George, they're on to us! <laughs> no, George! Here. Let's go, George, let's go! <laughs> oh, stupid! SpongeBob is a weird show, but this is always stuck <laughs> Why does this kid look like he has like a forty year old head on, on an eight year old's body? <laughs> he looks like a grumpy ass old man. What is this picture? Is that a foot? What is this? Out as being just a little too weird. But knowing what we know now, I think I can explain what's going on here. This isn't a real gorilla. No! Wait, are you about to tell me it's a man in a suit? Every other land animal we've seen underwater wears a helmet and is drawn in a cartoony style. The gorilla is shown in a live action style, and the only time we ever see live action characters is when they're human. So I believe both the gorilla <laughs> and the horse he rides away on are humans wearing costumes. No, the you don't say. <laughs> this whole thing up just to make the episode more entertaining. It's starting to seem like this isn't strictly a nature documentary anymore. <laughs> it's more of a reality TV show made for entertainment. Who knows what other absurd elements of the show are actually put there by the filmmakers to make the show more entertaining and profitable. Wow. Although, based on the people's reaction, it doesn't always seem to pay off. But how far will the filmmakers go to make the show more profitable? <clears throat> ah, Saturday morning in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob is watching his favorite Saturday morning show, The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, enjoying a bowl of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy brand cereal, and Ooh. wearing official Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy breakfast bikers. If we think of 
this as a television <laughs> show, this sounds this an stupid. awful lot like a product placement. I mean, listen to how the narrator specifically says the full names of the products. The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy bland cereal. Mermaid Man and Barnacle mm. Boy breakfast bikers. Why don't you let me get you some of this Nemo cocoa drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua. No artificial sweeteners. Who are you talking to? Maybe Me. the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show is actually from the surface world. Mm. They are human after all. It makes sense that the filmmakers would choose to highlight these popular superhero characters. The more they show, the more they're going to sell Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy merchandise. Hang on a second. Why are Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy the same size as all the fish in Bikini Bottom, even though humans are always shown as massive compared to fish? Mm. Uh, wh whatever. I'll, I'll come back to that one later. The show doesn't even just hide product placements. In the episode Model Sponge, they literally trick SpongeBob into making a commercial for a human product. Product. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Director. Very well. Close the pants! Fly pants! Get my stuff! What happened? Whoa, hold on a minute. That had never animated before. What's going on here? I don't like this change. That's so loud! That's still pretty loud. Get it cleaned up fast, man. That's a Mars situation. Like how he's shorter and stouter than people in the in New Donk. Noise tree. Oh, household chores. Clean sinks. Just look at that shot. This is just like in real life how SpongeBob is such a popular character that he's used to sell tons and tons of products. So far, I've shown you that the show SpongeBob SquarePants is actually a documentary television show, but the creators continually interfere to push their own agendas and make more money. But that brings us to an important question. Do the characters know they're in a television show? Let's go back to that clip where SpongeBob hits the cameraman. It means another whole year of boarding school! Aww. What happened? Oh, nothing, SpongeBob. You just struck another pedestrian. Mrs. Puff calls him a pedestrian. Oh which sounds more my like she god. She thinks he's just some random bikini bottom citizen. The different types of marine life in SpongeBob are so diverse and weird looking that it's not. Oh yeah! Did you guys hear about this? They released this photo for like the anniversary that has apparently every single SpongeBob character ever. So my when I saw this within a minute, I was like, hmm, let's see if I can find one that is let's see if I can figure out a character that is on here. And you know what I immediately thought of? the hell wonder woman uh what i immediately thought of is the is the rock um from the spongebob movie the abyss those those big creatures down there those aren't here they have these these disgusting freaks i don't know what these guys are but they're not from the movie and i ain't seen no other um i ain't seen no other giants the movie stuff isn't here and where's like the where's like the giant cra clam thing that sold ice cream and then they bite you maybe that's here i don't know somewhere no it's a sea bear here. that's cool Okay, there's so many characters here, I, I have no idea who the hell they are. Like, who the hell is this? Is this Bubble Buddy's big brother? What, what is this? What is this? Alien? You know what? This thing reminds the green guy up here reminds me of. It reminds me of the aliens from the Samsons. Dun 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 dun. I remember this guy, but I don't remember who he is. Wait, isn't he from the the rip rip my pants episode? You can see my mouse. Not too hard to. The original King Neptune. Damn. Do they have the new one too somewhere? I'm shocked they have the old version. Cause like this is the OG and then they and then they, they upgraded him to the movie one. They made him bald. Bard! Oh my god, look at the crab scares me. What the hell? Believe that the characters just think he's filmmaking Bubble Bass. Hey, I've been wanting to tune in, but I've been shoveling snow for the last two hours. I got where it is. So I'll just say, hey, man, have fun shoveling snow. Here's or another weird type of fish. And back to the gorilla episode, the gorilla and the horse immediately the get nervous and run away when SpongeBob questions what's going on. Oh, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the, she, the, the, George, they're on to us. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Almost like the creators Let's don't want the characters to do their lives are being interfered with. Now, there isn't a ton of footage of the characters interacting with the filmmakers, but I dug really, really deep and 
found the smoking gun that answers all of our questions. Yo, frick. This is an old commercial from 2004 made to promote the SpongeBob movie. SpongeBob, what kind of jellyfish is that? It's not a jellyfish, Patrick. It's a spaceship. What the fuck? <laughs> hey guys, it's Carlos from the zone. I was wondering if you could answer a few questions. What? This is YTV. This is my favorite Canadian kids uh, channel I've watched all the time as a kid. Carlos. Carlos was the host of YTV for fucking ever. How long was he the host for? Carlos YTV uh, years. This dude, in 2018, he left. When did he join? Carlos. I have to know. This dude did this job forever. Uh, 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 uh. It doesn't say. What the frick? Schiller and Carlos. Oh, man. I thought this would be much easier to find than it is. Can I click his name? Carlos. It doesn't matter. This dude was the host forever, though. Like, but, like, there's always two hosts. And then one host would quit. Like, this dude, like, he, him being the main host, he went through, like, four or five, like, co-hosts. Questions. It's because he beat them all. No, I was kidding. But, um, no, I like them a lot. It wants to learn about our world. And it chose this is some crusty out. audio. What the yay? <laughs> We've been chosen. A submarine comes down to SpongeBob and Patrick. To what the hell is a submarine, by the way? Movie. SpongeBob and Patrick are clearly confused by this and think the submarine is some kind of alien. They also have no idea that they're the stars of a movie. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you in the movie. Bye. Bye. Movie? What's that? Oh, there was something into the thing, was that? Oh, they're reacting? So I think it's pretty clear at this point that the characters are unaware their lives are being filmed and interfered with. But there are some characters that have to have some level of awareness. For example, the Dr. Fish that told the human hand to treat Spongebob, and the Director Fish that directed the commercial from Human World. What makes these characters so special? First off, the Director Fish isn't actually from Bikini Bottom. Before he directed this commercial, we saw him as a citizen of New Kelp City in the episode Whatever Happened to Spongebob. Out of all the characters they could have used, they specifically chose a character from out of town. Almost like the filmmakers didn't want to use anyone in Bikini Bottom so they wouldn't risk everyone finding out about the television show. Then there's the Dr. Fish. We don't know where he really My ass from, is broken. he's an extremely suspicious character. Usually he's purple, but sometimes he's orange, sometimes he's purple with orange hands, sometimes he's a pirate, and he bears a... This dude's once again showing he's a fish, fish racist. But sometimes... This could just be a different doctor. He's orange, sometimes he's... He could just be wearing gloves here. Very long gloves. Purple with orange hands, sometimes he's a pirate. That's just a different fish, you racist! What do you think all purple fish are the same or something? Let's I want let's cancel this guy. Alright guys, we're starting a new trend on Twitter. Alright, I need you I, since there's only five of you here, I'm gonna need you guys to tweet these a lot, okay? Hashtag cancel Alex Bale. If we each tweet this around a hundred thousand times, we might end up at number twenty on the trending scale worldwide. Right. Hop to it! Here's a striking resemblance to Dr. Manowar from the Jellyfish Convention. This racism never ends! And now it only hurts when you touch it. <laughs> Why does he have so many different disguises and identities? What is he hiding? I believe hidden throughout Bikini Bottom are spies like this who are aware they're in a television show and keep tabs on the main character. Oh, why is he sucking on the burger for? Spies like this who are aware they're in a television show and why? keep tabs on the main characters and make why sure is he looking at the burger? There's so many suspicious characters in Bikini Bottom that it could literally be anyone. The mailman, the hot dog vendor, old man Jenkins, it could literally be anyone. Don't talk about the hot, the hot dog seller, aka Phil. Anyone. But what if I told you that the oh, biggest Spongebob. spy of all isn't some random side character, it's one of the main characters of the show. Wait, who is it? Is it Gary? Wasn't there an episode where, like, Spongebob used Gary to, like, project something on a screen? It's Gary, isn't it? Pearls isn't around enough. This is Puff. Mm, Squidward. Mm. If it's not Gary, maybe it's Plankton. Look, the way he cut out, like, Gary here, too, to, to throw us off. Could be Sandy too from you know the above web. Squidward. Show someone who's been there from the very beginning. Someone who's not even from Bikini Bottom. Someone Wait, what? Who's not even? Oh, they're just showing it from the ocean. That's, That's Sandy. Right. Sandy. Oh my God! 
What? What? No way! Oh my god! But why That's crazy, dude. Scroll down. In the episode Scroll Chimps down. Boy, we find out she was hired by a group of chimpanzees to come underwater and create <laughs> inventions. But why does she need to be underwater to make inventions? She could have just as easily have made any of her inventions on land. It must be extremely expensive to make- I'm gonna pee so bad, one second. Wait! I don't want to leave you guys with nothing, so I'll play some music. It's so loud! Why it just ended? It's so loud! Alright, one second. Maintain a giant dome of air underwater. There is no way the only. It was quiet. It seems so loud. Man, it's so hard. Did you listen to that in the bathroom? Yes, it, it's going through my headphones. It's my peeing music. The only reason she's here is to make random inventions. Hmm. I think this whole episode is an elaborate ruse to throw off the other characters from the real reason Sandy is in Bikini Bottom. Spy on the main characters and make sure the show stays on track. Many of the times the characters are in danger, Sandy conveniently steps in to save the day. And many of the wacky, entertaining episode plots are driven by an invention Sandy creates. Cause she's a Everything scientist! She does is a calculated move to carry out the hidden agenda of the filmmakers. Her entire friendship with Spongebob and the other characters is built on a lie. But you're probably saying, Sandy is a sweet, friendly squirrel. There's no way she's behind this. Hmm. You're not convinced yet? That's okay. Because what I'm about to show you is so mind blowing, so what? insanely revealing that it's actually what, what is it gonna the be? reason I decided to make this video. Huh? Get ready for the big one. What? Season ten, episode ten, Feral Friends. Oh! Episode that unlocks this entire. This is the one where Sandy's hibernating and she shows her true side, huh? Mystery. During a birthday party, oh, no, it's not at all. suddenly appears and turns everyone except Sandy this. into less evolved, real-life versions of themselves. Ooh. Sandy is completely caught off guard by this and decides to call someone for help. And take a guess who she calls. How'd she even type that with her giant gloves? Hello, French <laughs> Nellito speaking. Hi, Frenchie. It's me, Sandy. Ah, uh, Sandy Cheeks. How is it going? <laughs> Don't say another word. I have been monitoring the behavior of the green moon all day. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty interesting quirk, yeah. Holy shit! Sandy literally calls the narrator to let him know what's going on and asks no. instructions of what to do next. She has been working with him the entire fucking time. What? He even has a picture of her on his desk. He loves her! This is where I originally planned on ending the video, but... There is still one small issue with the television series. Just one nagging plot hole that contradicts everything. If this is all a television show filmed by scuba divers, then how are we seeing inside the buildings? It's not like any of the humans filming the show can fit inside them. It's the one annoying thing that keeps it clear. <laughs> Does he walk on the walls? What's going I mean, on here? The most logical explanation is that they have hidden cameras inside of everyone's homes, but we never really see anything like that. Holy shit. Season 6, episode 24, Truth or Square. The Spongebob 10th anniversary special where they reveal that lots poop? of stuff about the characters. But the most damning piece of evidence comes from when the characters get lost in the Krusty Krab vents and end up in a room full of monitors. Did you see that? Evidence comes from when the characters get lost. Mr. Krab is one thing to me. Spongebob's going to that pussy. 
Listen to Krusty Krab vents and end up in a room full of monitors showing live footage of all of their homes. Oh! My house is on TV! All of our houses are on TV! Meow! 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 Gary, that's ale. You get down from that bed this instant! Hey, there's my house! Beautiful. Look, it's Sandy! And Hold on a minute! Was there a camera in that bathroom? These guys need to be arrested immediately. Who is the character responsible for all of these hidden cameras? Mr. Krabs, why do you have cameras watching us? <laughs> oh, but, uh, I, I just want to make sure you all bought that for every meal. Oh, that's Mr. nice of him. Krabs, dental hygiene is very, very important. That's a good point. That's very sweet of him. Dental hygiene? Eugene, you lying bastard. Of course you- Wait a minute! Dental hygiene? Eugene? Enhance. Can I zoom in on YouTube videos? Nope. Wait, I can! K kind of. No, not really. SpongeBob cons! SpongeBob cons! Can someone explain to me? How does a crab have teeth? I'm busting this right open! He's not a crab! He's not even human! He's a, 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 a monster! He's a, he's a robot! Created by the scientists sent down to spy on them all! Lying bastard. Of course he would sell out his friends for a quick buck. And if there's any part of you that thinks there's some chance Mr. Krabs has all these hidden cameras for some other reason, then take a look at what happened next. And how does a sponge have eyes, a nose, a mouth and ears, a nose, and a hat, huh? How does a starfish have squared teeth? Mm. Alright, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. A cameraman and a boom operator have been following around the characters this entire time. It always really grossed me out when, like, cartoons put the camera right on top of their eye. I don't know, it's ugh. And just like the gorilla, as soon as they get seen, they make a run for it. The case is closed. The television theory is something the show has consistently alluded to from the very first episode to the newest episodes. Maybe one day the show will actually directly address it and our characters will discover the real truth about their world. But regardless, that's my theory. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time. Thanks hey, for whoa, watching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. Casual or case. You thought I forgot about the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy thing, didn't you? I right, forgot about it. Bonus theory. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were two superheroes that fought Bonus underwater meme. and protected the sea from evil. Whether or not they actually did this or it was all staged for television isn't clear, but they both spent their lives underwater until they became old and retired. But after spending so much time under the sea, they no longer fit in with human society. Plus, Mermaid Man is clearly dealing with some form of dementia and PTSD from fighting evil. But evil. Evil. There's evil afoot. What? So they decided to live the rest of their lives in Bikini Bottom, and in order to f <laughs> I looked up Spongebob Evil, and this is the first thing that popped up that I saw. What I was going to say is I still want, I, I kind of want to make this into a tattoo one day. I love Spongebob, he was a big part of my life, I think a little subtle nod, and this is some actually kind of cool art. If I could like turn this into something, it'd be kind of cool, I think. Anyways. Fit in better with their fellow sea creatures, they made the permanent decision to shrink themselves using Mermaid Man's shrinking belt. Oh that shit! Is closed. Oh, you mean Again. Wolfo? Oh, that was a lame spot to land. That now land in it. Wasn't it? It. I just can't believe SpongeBob is just one long Truman show. We have to read comments. Be surprised narrator sounds like a nature documentary because of the history of the creator SpongeBob of Steven Hillenburg enjoyed with your kids, but yeah, yeah, we know. I can't believe that this I can't believe this isn't the skin theory guy. How long is that video? God of a digital SpongeBob theories help <laughs> Uh basically this is Truman Show just under more. What is the skin theory? Is that the hour long video? SpongeBob skin theory. Reaction? Oh god. Wait, that's not the one we just watched. No, oh, that's the hour-long video. 
Maybe we'll watch this one next time. It was an hour and 11 minutes. Jesus Christ. It's showing that I watched it, but I just kind of clicked through it to see if it was actually quality or if it was just some, like, eight-year-old kid, like, just talking to a mic for an hour about SpongeBob, about how much he loves Sponge. How much he loved the Sponge. <clears throat> okay. Um, mustache, you posted something, right? Let's come around just play with SpongeBob. See, we love Sandy? What? Do you have evidence for that? Thy Spong. Thy Spong. I thought it said nice bong. Um, all right, Mustache posted a video, a uh, YouTube poop, okay, another YouTube, there's all YouTube poops today, can't say I'm too big of a fan of these, but let's try it out. Pokemon, I don't get it. De Janeiro. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's the friggin' statue on Corcovado Hill. Friggin' Jesus. <laughs> it's perfect. Friggin' Jesus. Jesus. Standing between us and 10 mil. Standing between us and 10 between us and between us, between us, between us, between us. Hmm. Kind of sure a big turn on for a guy like you, Chicken. I don't get it. Stoop between us. Oh! Gentlemen, I give you the soccer stadium. Biggest in the world. Holds two. That's incredible. Two. <laughs> two soccer fields. <laughs> and the soccer locker lotto typically triplically triples the Bocker lotto tipples the box office. Oh, tape. duh. And the soccer lotto typically tipples the socks a lot this trip. <laughs> and the sauce triples the tape. <laughs> the sirloin is absolutely incredible. So, just send regrets. Don't be there. Where's freaking juice? Juice. <laughs> the... But the main ingredient remains the same. The mammoth. Mm. It's the mammoth. Ooh, hello, mams. I like this so far. <laughs> Most of have no idea what the hell the source material is. Mm -hmm. This statue right here, it is pretty. <laughs> what's wrong, Inspector? You look septic. I don't know what septic means, but something here definitely. Jack Septic Eye! What are you saying? I got a nose. Perhaps you need a doctor. <laughs> now, you are in Rio, and you are in Rio, and you are Rio, and you are real. Oh! You foolish fool. I am a real master. Allow me to reunite you with your ancestors. <laughs> you fool. Oreo! Master. Allow me to reunite you with your ancestors. <laughs> Whisk. He got his hands back. Schnapps. Uh, look, hon, you wouldn't have a backup plan. How short. <laughs> that ass. I think you're a new con to us. You wouldn't have a backup backup plan. How short. Eyes and toes. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers Super Show will return. I'm counting on you. This is wacky, bro. The diary will learn a vast amount of trash. Express our diary is the one and only diary. I'm counting on you. Same. The study of true theology is the only way to find the truth about truth. What? What is that? Is this frozen? Gotta be believable. Not luckily frozen. Is that frozen? I'm so confused. Experience the very latest in pain. On October 3rd, Jackie knew what day it was. It's October 3rd. Temporary interim nice. investigating inspecting office. Here's any data. We've received intelligence that loop on the third will be intelligence. So this is just a stupid pile of crap. My friends, we've all fallen into someone's trap. Trust me, I nearly stuck the entire thing up my nose. <laughs> No, that was the movie. The movie, of course. The rest of us. Trust me, I know. Mother, father, there's a lamp and every word is true. I happen to have a night boy. It's just a stuff. Mother, father. This is too rich for words. Yeah. Yeah. Is that 
how she ends. Oh, there's a secret. There's a secret scene. Come on, you wouldn't have a backup, backup, backup plan. Backup, sure. backup, backup plan. <laughs> the Titanic, no! Man, friggin' crap. Jeez, friggin' man, crap. Friggin' man, crap. Friggin' we us. Well, that was a uh, that was a video, right? Wasn't too big of a fan of that one, if I'm being honest. If I'm allowing myself to be honest, which I am this one time. Is that really quiet? Is that better? It's so loud in my ears. Oh, I broke this headset last night too, by the way. I fixed it now, but like. There's, okay, so there's a volume wheel right here, right? Kind of cool, but there's also, yeah, there's also this switch here, which switches it from uh, Wi-Fi, so it makes it go from wireless to USB. And I actually put on USB, which normally wouldn't be too big of a deal, but it wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi, it wouldn't connect to my PC again. Um, so that was real fun. Or not, sorry, not Wi-Fi, connect, I just a little USB stick that goes wireless to that. Marlon Gax. I, yeah, see, I don't even know. Was that a reference to the video? Just, well, I kind of zoned out. <laughs> Boy, base cat. Oh, I see it. How? Oh, ah, ah. Okay, is Among Us still going on? <gasps> There's 9 out of 10. Should we play Among Us? We don't really have too much time to play anything else. I'll go on the GameCube. 